Hi, I'm Darren. I'm a passionate educator of emotional fitness. With me is Warren Redman, founder and creator of Emotional Fitness. Folks, uh, recently there's been a series of different questions about what really is emotional fitness? So I like, Warren, if you can touch on that fog of war, trying to establish what the difference is between EQ, emotional intelligence, emotional fitness. Oh, okay. All right. Well, since you bring up uh, EQ and emotional intelligence, that's, that's probably the term that uh, more people understand and get because there's been a lot of training, a lot of written about it over the, the oh, 30 or more years. Um, Daniel Goleman was the first who really made it popular, um, but he didn't develop it and, and invent it. Uh, there were others. Ruvin Bar on uh, was a key person as a, a, a psychologist who actually coined, coined the term or, or, or used it more, more uh, regularly. Emotional intelligence is therefore a psychological uh, response and, and questionnaire uh, to answer the question, what is it uh, that people need to become more, uh, let, let's say, emotionally um, functional? Okay, such things, for example, as as having greater empathy. You know, there's a difference. We know it between people who we we confront or find that seem to have no empathy towards us, and we don't really have too much of a relationship. Okay, so so emotional intelligence. Uh, very valuable in that it helps us to understand what's going on and what we need. Uh, the people I know who have taken a lot of training in emotional intelligence and, and use the questionnaires and so on, um, still come up with another question. And the question is, what do I do with this information? Emotional fitness is the answer to that. Emotional fitness provides us with the tools to understand what it is that we can do to, for example, become more empathetic, okay? Now, I've talked about some of those tools before, listening power, or power listening is one of them. Uh, and actually, that's the fundament, that's the foundation of everything that we do in emotional fitness. Uh, so again, I describe the difference partly, if we can think of it in physical terms, um, understanding what it is that we need to do. We should go to the gym, we should eat more healthily, we should uh, work out more often uh, to become more physically healthy. Uh, that's one thing. Read all these books about, about diet and, and exercise and what the body does. That's fine. We can have all that knowledge about it. Um, the the uh, understanding about uh, the, the ability to become more physically healthy is if you go to the gym, if you do that workout, if you actually eat the right things. That's, in a way, the distinction I make between emotional intelligence on the one hand, which is knowing about things, and emotional fitness, which is doing them. If you do, the, the, if you use the tools that we offer in emotional fitness, uh, you will uh, become more emotionally fit. Then's the question, what is being emotional fit? What does that mean? My response to that is, you will have to ask yourself and answer the question yourself. I have a sense of what it might mean for me. If I ask Darren, he has a greater sense of what it means for him. What does being emotionally fit mean for you? What is working in an emotionally fit organization look like. That's how we work. Thank you very much, Warren, My for pleasure. helping cut through that fog of the differentiation between two very key things, uh, emotional intelligence and emotional fitness. Thank you.